The bacteria found included Legionella and Pseudomonas aeruginosa, a bacterium that is often implicated in hospital-acquired infections, the authors said in a statement. The study by the Swiss Federal Institute of Aquatic Science and Technology, ETH Zurich and the University of Illinois was published Tuesday in the journal Biofilms and Microbiomes. It's billed as one of the first in-depth scientific examinations of its kind. They turned up a strikingly high volume, up to 75 million cells per square centimeter, square inch, and variety of bacteria and fungus in the ducts. We've found very big differences between different bath animals, said microbiologist and lead study author Lisa New, alluding to other types of bath toys like rubber crocodiles that also were examined. One of the reasons was the material, because it releases carbon that can serve as food for the bacteria. While certain amounts of bacteria can help strengthen children's immune systems, they can also lead to eye, ear, and intestinal infections, the researchers said. Among the vulnerable users, children who may enjoy squirting water from bath toys into their faces, a statement from the institute said. The scientists, who received funding from the Swiss government as part of broader research into household objects, say using higher quality polymers to make the ducts could prevent bacterial and fungal growth. The Swiss government isn't making any recommendations at this stage. Frank Jordans reported from Berlin.